Listen, we all do it, some of us more than others. I am talking about gossip. But because I work with a lot of men, I wondered, men gossip too, don't they? Well, joining us is Judy Ryan. She's a trainer, a coach, a columnist, a consultant, and CEO of Life Work Systems. Judy, thank you for joining me in Studio B. Thank you. I am very excited to be here. Yes, you're number one. <laughs> you're number one. Well, before we answer that question, let me say that um, that I heard that Charles Brennan once drove all the way to Indianapolis to get his hair cut. I mean, the vanity of the man. That sounds like gossip. <laughs> To me, <laughs> does the perception remain that women do gossip more than it men? It is a perception, and it's not true. Men and women both gossip. Uh, they both both gossip for the same reasons, but men tend to gossip a little bit differently, sort of in a general way. So I can speak a little bit to that. Absolutely. Um, I think most men they identify with their career, and you know, they're that's who they are is how successful and competent they are in their career. So they tend to gossip about things that are related to unfairness, about how they're being treated, or their performance, or someone else's performance. Work more work mm -hmm. related. Women generally, and these are very big generalizations really value relationships first and foremost, even if we're strong career women. And so when a woman gossips, it tends to be a little bit more what we think of as catty often because a woman is thinking more in terms of the character of a person. So it feels a little bit more personalized when they do the gossip. Now, having said that, we also gossip according to what our highest priority values are. Oh. And those values are different for different people. So if it's more important to you that um, people are more free and fun, you might gossip about specific things related to that. I see. Or, you know, if it's more important to you to, you know, everybody should be fair and doing all the details right, that might be the source of what you complain about or gossip about. So if you are really one who values raising your children, you're going to gossip about motherhood. Right. Or you might, you might criticize a person right. to someone else about the things that you feel are, in your book, wrong or right. Um, but most of the time, um, we don't really realize how much we gossip. Gossip can even be things that we just shouldn't be saying in general, like talking about our salary with somebody when you know that you would never say that if the boss was present. That or someone sort of else's thing. salary with, with exactly. yes. Exactly. Exactly. So there's lots of um, sort of, you know, subtleties to the whole gamut of what is gossip.